everyone, and welcome to the pocket realm of the internet known as Mighty Foxy. We're back with more Enola. Yeah. This game is fucking creepy as hell. I do not have the words to properly describe the level of creepy this is. All I know is, I'm creeped out. You would rather be continue with the hat man rather than whoever wants to stick in this knife in me and break me. What is a particularly weird choice of words, for the record. Stick a knife in you, and then break you. Ugh. I haven't done a threat creep me out like that in a long time. At least not in a video game. Well, then. <laughs> People threatening me, threatening me in real life really doesn't intend to end well. My brain is broken, and I tend to take situations like that with a weird situation of laughing a lot. Nothing's funnier than laughing in someone's face as they threaten you with a machete. Alright, let's see what we got. I don't want to go in this place. I really don't want to go in this place. Can I save again? Please? Yes, I'm going to save my progress. Maybe there's something up here? Around here? I don't want to go in that house yet. That house looks scary. And that's what the guy said he was waiting for me at. What is with these shipping containers? What the hell are these things? Why is there machinery all over this place? What's the point of this machinery? What is up with this freaky ass forest? What is that? Yeah, it's really pretty. Really nice. Definitely super fucking creepy and shit, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> this must be another one of the voice of Freya. Yeah. I was very happy when you agreed to go to the lake with me. I didn't want to spoil it, so I barely talked. I don't know if we will do it again one day. I would love to. Please forgive me for everything I did wrong all this years. I'm going to be a mother for you. I want to change and do the things right, but I need, your, need you to help me. I'm wondering who Freya is. Am I Freya? And Angelic is my kid? Um, is uh, my my Angelica's like lo lesbian lover and Freya's her mother? I don't know. It's all a little odd. All right, that's, this is okay. I saw this in one of those pictures at the very beginning. That's fucking creepy. Oh my god, it's gonna be mannequins, isn't it? What the hell is this? What in the hell is this? Oh, that must have been a different entrance to the house. Oh god. Oh god. Please, I hope I didn't. I am afraid. I am so afraid. We're just gonna creep along. A little bit of creepy, creepy time. Another voice of Freya? No, oh, the memory of Edmund. I always wanted a daughter. So the day you were born, I was the happiest day of my life. You look like a little angel. So I called you Angelica, my dear angel. Don't hate life what it happened to you. Don't see that as a limitation. You can do great things if you really want to. <clears throat> My voice won't ask me there, but I think it worked for the effect. Oh god. This game is dark. Flashlight. <laughs> when an enemy grabs you, press all the keys. 
Just basically, if an enemy grabs you, spaz the hell out. So in case I did screw up when I entered this through the back end, but I don't think I did, considering it gave me the flashlight. <clears throat> Yesterday, when I went to get some milk and bread, I met a boy. Okay. He had a pretty smile and small eyes. When we shook hands, he was surprised that I gave him my left hand. But he told me I was very pretty, and I so she's missing her hand. He said that. I was so nervous. I even forgot to ask his name. Yeah. I feel like I'm playing a reincarnation of the Clock Tower games here. After studying Dad's notes, I made my own design, and it works very well. I may have my mother's eyes, but definitely I have my father's brains. I added a second button to his original design. Oh <sighs> god, I hope I'm not playing a reincarnation of the Clock Tower the games. <sighs> Tomorrow, I will try another configuration, so I can rotate both pieces with one button. Oh, I have to finish it soon. I feel so insecure in this place. I have the feeling someone is watching me. Those games literally gave me nightmares. My memory of Edmund. I need to tell you before I forget. Don't let anyone tell you what you can and cannot do. You rule your life. You must decide what path to take. So it's like the machinery. I don't know what door to take, so I'm gonna go here. God, this is so fucking creepy. I feel so uneasy. So freaking uneasy. It's a lift. Okay, we found an ele a lift, elevator, I don't care what you want to call it. I know I really don't want to encounter some enemy. <sighs> it's weird. I could have sworn I heard a sound of a chain f my chain fence. Uh. Your mother can be hostile sometimes. I tell you this so that you know it's not you. Don't blame yourself. I don't know if I ever did something to her, but after so many years, I can't seem to care anymore. That path is blocked. Can't open the door, it looks like it's broken. Okay. Okay. And this fucking just lovely. We have yet to encounter an enemy. Mm -hmm. The boiler needs some wood. Okay, this looks like a safe point. Oh god. <clears throat> oh, it's safe. Let's save. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and call this episode here, people. Um, this game's kind of creeping me out, and forgot to set my recording clock, so I don't know how long I've been recording, but I don't want to go too far over. So make sure to leave a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and stay foxy. We'll be back soon with more Enola. Bye-bye.